Hey, Wrench Retires, it's Adam Schrader, and today we're going to talk about how to choose your first investment property. All right, before we get started, I wanted to remind everybody, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, click the notifications bell. Don't miss any of the content that we're putting out for you pretty much every day of the week, trying to make you the best investor you can possibly be and set you up for success down the road. Also, at the end of the video, if it's been useful, please click the like button. Let everybody know that this is a video that's been helpful. And as always, if you have any questions or if there are any videos you want us to cover, enter it in the comments below and we will get to it as soon as possible. So one of the questions we get asked all of the time and that I talk to people about every day is how do you choose your first investment property? And the fact is when you go to rentretirement.com, you can see the inventory we have there and it can be overwhelming. You can look and say, look, Adam, they're all cash flowing. They're all reasonably priced. There's different markets. So how do I choose what I want? And I'm going to tell you today how I do it as an investor myself. So here's what you need to do. You need to think like a business and create a buy box. You need to create a profile for a property that you believe is what you want in your portfolio. Is that a new construction? Is that a turnkey rehab? If it's a new construction, can you afford the ones that are out there now or do you have a specific price range that you're looking at? If it's a turnkey rehab, okay, what price point are you looking for? What cash on cash are you looking for? What total return on investment are you looking for? What cash flow are you looking for? Sort it down and narrow it down so that you know what exactly you're looking for. You're setting the criteria beforehand, ignoring all of the other aspects. You're saying, what does a successful investment property look like for me? It's gonna be different for everybody. Some people are gonna say, you know what? I wanna say under $120,000 on all of my properties, so my buy box is something in the $100,000 to $120,000 range. And you know what, that's what my wife and I did when we started. We looked and we said, you know what, for the first few, we're not gonna go over $100,000. So we're gonna look for properties under $100,000. Now mind you, this was in the past and appreciations run up, so $100,000 ain't what it used to be, we'll say. So let's just say, you know, you're looking for something 150 or less. All right, so you know, anything under 150. Now, do you want $250 a month cash flow? $300, what's your limit? How low are you willing to go? Does it have to be at least $200 a month? Okay, then we set a minimum of $200 a month. Is it 250? Then we'll set that as your criteria. But what you should be doing at first is ignoring where the property is. Just ignore it. It doesn't matter, these properties are just numbers, all right? Yes, they're, they're there for somebody to live in, but for you, the investor, they're numbers. They're a product. They're part of your business that you are essentially selling to your tenant. So it's a numbers game. So what I want you to also do when you're looking at these is don't worry about hitting the home run, all right? Especially with your first few, just get on base. You know, get that deal that is a single or a double to begin with that you're happy with. Just get on base, <laughs> you know, like they say. Don't worry about hitting the home run because the perfect property doesn't exist. You're not going to find a brand new home in Florida built up to the code that's $100,000. If you can do that, buy it all day long, but you're not gonna find it. You need to create your buy box that will make you happy. And then when it comes up, don't worry about where it is, just buy it. You know, it checks all the boxes, so stop overthinking it and just buy it when your buy box comes up. And don't worry because deals get better over time. Remember, as real estate goes along, rents increase, tax deductions make your taxes better, appreciation comes, your equity buildup continues and continues, and then you can exit the deal in a few years and move on to other deals. You know, your one property can buy you two, but it will not do you any good if you're consistently sitting there waiting and waiting and waiting for that perfect property to come in. Create the buy box. Know what you're looking for 
establish your minimum threshold, and when a property comes in that fits everything you're looking for, pounce on it. And then you're in the game. And as soon as you're in the game, you realize I have a chance to win. And when you have a chance to win, you end up with the lifestyle that you're looking for. And that's what we want to help you with here at Rent to Retirement. That's what I want for every real estate investor out there. So I hope this has been useful. I hope you can use some of these things in your quest for your first investment property. Or as you're looking and saying, what other investment property should I buy? How do I decide where to go to next? If it has been, please click the like button. Let everybody else know. If you have any questions, please enter it in the comments below. We will get to it as soon as possible. And as always, check us out at renttoretirement.com. That's renttoretirement.com. You can see all of our inventory there. You can schedule a call with an investment strategist. And you can also just see who you need to have on your real estate team. We're happy to help. You can also see our inventory sent to your phone at renttoretirement.com slash hotlist. That's renttoretirement.com slash hotlist. If you don't want to check the inventory sheet on the website daily, but I highly recommend you check out the one on our website as that's the most up to date. That's renttoretirement.com. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching the Rent to Retirement YouTube channel. Check out some of our other videos like this one or this one here.